Hi, I'm All Thumbs back today with some Need for Speed content. Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be doing the Close Chaser Achievement. Go ahead and pin this thing to my HUD so you can all watch me get it in time. And the basicness here is we're just going to start a police chase and then we're just going to stop. We're going to let the cops chase up to it, catch up to us. Um, need to do it three times without getting busted and then escape so once we get this thing going here I'll show you exactly how to get that done without getting busted eat some McLaren copper have a little more alright so we're just gonna come to a stop here and wait for these dumbass cops to catch up there we go See the camera angle start to change here when they do. And I blow it there, which you want to do. Oh, no, I did get it. You want to wait till the camera gets all the way to the top of the angle there and then take off. And if you do it right, you'll see a little resisting arrest show up in your fine section. And I find if you do a 180 coming into it, they give you a little bit more room to escape usually where they stop. I'm just going to make sure we get three resisting arrests here be off onto the freeway to escape there. Chase. Now a little interesting side note here. When you're in the cooldown time, if you're trying to let the cops catch up, you can wreck your car and actually add about 10 seconds to your cooldown time. As you'll see here, when I come back, I'll have a full 13 seconds again. 14 seconds. That'll give the top cops more time to catch up to you if you are, in fact, trying to stay in the chase. Here we are not, so I'm going to go ahead and modi out of here and knock off this achievement. Don't forget to subscribe for more Need for Speed content and punish that like button on your way out the door. Appreciate the support and good gaming, everybody.